sorry. I'll be having a lot of fruit today. I've got to change my calendar to August. Right, let me just get the questions up. Right, I've got the questions. Hello everyone, it is Sol, and today I'm going back to a quite an old video. Well, type of video. Because basically when I started my channel, I didn't know what YouTube videos to make. So I tended to just make tags all the time. But I've kind of like to my own videos recently. But I got tagged in a tag by my friend Emily. She made this tag. It's called the music tag. So yeah, so she made this tag. And it's called the music tag. And yeah, it's called the music tag. A tag is just made to answer questions, so I'm gonna answer the questions now. Putting my glasses while I'm waiting here. Seems like the whole house just wants to make a load of noise while I'm waiting. First question is What is your current favourite song? And it is Don't Let Me Down by. Oh, don't harm me against that. Don't Let Me Down by the Chainsmokers, Feet Dare. And also, talking to the Chainsmokers, they have recently released a song with Halsey. And let me just get it up so you can hear it a little bit. It's heaven. It's called Closer. It's one of my favourites. Oh, here she is. Yeah, so that's a good song, it's called Closer, and it's by Halsey and The Chain Smokers. And also another song is The Chain Smokers, Feet Day, called Don't Let Me Down. It's a very good song. You'll know it. It's like, don't let me, don't let me, don't let me down. What is your current favourite album? I feel like the only album where I like listen to like most of the songs is Halsey, Badlands, if I'm honest, because there's no other people that I really listen to that album. They're all individual songs, like Fifth Harmony, I only really listen to like Work From Home, Flex, other than popular songs, but I don't really listen to the whole album. Hashtag sorry not sorry. But yeah, Halsey Badlands is kind of the only one that I really listen to as an album, not individual songs. Just because I think I'll just move the camera, but yeah, we go. Question three, do you tend to prefer music by solo artists or band? Solo artists is quite good because you kind of like get to focus on the singer. So you hear more of the singer and you can be like Yes, that's a good bit. That's a good bit. You done yourself a favour there. That's really good. Thumbs up. Number four, is there a song slash album that you associate with a special time or memory or year? Um all I can think of at the top of my head is 2012 summer is Kylie Ray Jepsen Good Time, the Owl City. Cause that was literally my summer song. If you ask a few of my friends, they know who they are if they're watching, but literally that was my summer song. I just listened to Good Time like it's always a good time. And there was this really weird one which I had on my Blackberry and it was like, before the song started, it was like a weird download and it was like, relax your body. And then it started singing and I was like, <laughs> and it was literally our like summer joke or summer we just always were like, relax your body. Number five, is there a song you know that has been tainted with a negative image or memory that stops you from liking it? Obviously like funeral songs, they're like quite, like you remember them and they're like nice because of that nice memory but also it's like quite dimming a little bit if you know what I mean because it's not like 100% you want to listen to it straight away you want it in your ears all the time because it kind of like reminds you of the not so good thing question six what song never fails to make you indescribably happy right I'm just gonna go through my iTunes let's have a look <laughs> youth by Troy Sivan that always makes me happy. I love that song so much right now. What other songs is there? Halsey New Americana is a really happy song. Colours as well. Don't Let Me Down. Hands to Myself. Killing With Kindness. Never Forget You. Actually, Never Forget You doesn't make me incredibly happy because sometimes that makes you feel a little bit sad. Cheap Thrills is quite an upbeat, jammy song. Yeah. What song never fails to make you sad, make you cry? Like when I'm on the bus and stuff, I listen to Lost Boy by Ruth B. I think it's Ruth B. And um, it is really sad, but I don't cry, but it is emotional. Oh my god, Corrine, Corrine Bailey Ray, like a star. And it's all slow and like, just like a star, yeah, just like a rainbow. Such a sad song, literally. I feel like I need to get a whole packet of Kleenex when I'm listening to that song. Number eight, what is your favourite song to play on the guitar slash piano? Well, I can't really play either. I actually learned to play 
let it go <laughs> a little bit if <laughs> let it go really like slowly on the piano only a tiny bit you know i don't play the piano or guitar i had a guitar bought it because i thought i was going to learn and it just sat in the back of my room so we sold it again question nine which songs and albums have stood the test of time they came out ages ago but you still love them all right what song do i love from ages ago Nicki minaj the night is still young i still listen to that um beyonce grown woman Beyonce 7-Eleven, Beyonce Beyonce, um, Beyonce Single Ladies, and um, that one, <laughs> oh, um, what other songs are there, Spice Girls is a good tune, One Direction, most of them, Midnight like Memories, oh, rest in peace. Question 10, have you ever been to a live concert, who was it and when, yes I have. I have been to the fir my first concert was Jay Lesson, Olly Mers, and Alexis Jordan. That was 2010. Who else was there after that? Then I saw Chico and the Cheeky Girls at Butlins. Then I saw Sundown 2013. I saw Jessie J, Labyrinth, Tiny Temper, Wiley. Wiley was the best. Um, Titch. Loads of few little people there. Um, who else is after Sundown? Then there was One Direction 2014 at Wembley with Five Seconds of Summer. Amazing. Then there was BBC Radio 1 Teen Awards, and that was Ariana Grande, Rixton, Labyrinth, Ella Henderson. Yeah, Ella Henderson. Oh, The Vamps. I've seen The Vamps at Sundown 2013 as well when they were really little, but now they're really famous, which is really annoying because I'm like. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, and then obviously I've got V Festival in two weeks today. Oh, actually, literally, my arms have just gone really shivery. And that is going to be Halsey, Justin Bieber, Sia, um, DNC, aka Joe Jonas, my childhood. Um, James Morrison. Have I said Justin Bieber? Justin Bieber and Halsey in the same room in the same area that's not a big room okay i need to calm down because i'm gonna start crying right what's your favorite disney song number 11. shit the bed how am i supposed to choose my favorite disney song i really like under the sea <laughs> i've just done sebastian's voice i really like under the sea <laughs> because of sebastian's bit and um obviously like frozen they've got some good tunes and they're like let it go that is very empowering. Question 12, who is an artist band that you used to love but now you can't stand? Now I can't stand? I wouldn't say I can't stand them anymore. For like eight years of my life, I was a Cheryl Cole fan. I was called a soldier. That's what her fans were called. I was a soldier for like eight years strong. I was literally such a dedicated fan. I loved her so much and Girls Aloud. But obviously Girls Aloud split up so I don't really have to stand them because I they don't exist anymore. But Cheryl, she doesn't really make a lot of music recently. Like, I, haven't, I don't really hear about her music that much, but you know, I don't really listen to her as much. But Fight For This Love is a banger. Call this now. Call My Name. Whoops, sorry, got the song wrong. Call My Name, Under The Sun. A Million Lights are my favourite. Uh, question 13. Are there any songs you have... Go away. Are there any songs you have felt like you can relate to at any point in your life? Lily Allen, fuck you. Literally, that's most of my life. I'm just like, fuck you, fuck you, Mary, Mary, Mary. Me and my mum have like a little row, and basically, like, my telly can like link to YouTube from my phone. So I played Lily and Fuck You onto the chorus. Literally, sat in my room to have the volume up on the telly. And when I click play, and all I heard downstairs was, fuck you, fuck you, Mary, Mary. My mum was like, no! <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Yeah, that one. Question 14, are there any songs or albums that you associate with a loved one, significant other? Mm, no. All songs are just songs at the end of the day. You can't get too attached to them, so. If you could only listen to one artist band for the rest of your life, who would it be and why? It's going to have to be Halsey, because if I can't listen to all of their songs, Badlands, then I'm pretty stuffed. I'd rather have just her Badlands on my phone. Deal. Because she's amazing. And yeah, I love her a lot, so she's the person that I want on my phone. So that is the video. Um, thanks for tagging me. 
and hope the questions are okay. <laughs> but yeah, I have to go now. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you do give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you want. Tweet me, follow me, all the links are below as well. And don't forget to subscribe to see more of me. And I will see you next time with another video. Bye. Your little brother never tells you, but he loves you so. You said your mother only smiled on her TV show. You're only happy when your sorry head is filled with dope. I hope you make it to the day you're 28 years old.